If this was ever a screen that you came home to and were incredibly excited about, you'll know for sure what Delta Force is. The original Delta Force came out in 1998, and this was my first experience with a large-scale first-person shooter. It was also my first real experience with an online PvP game. I was absolutely hooked and subsequently would go on to play the next several Delta Force titles, including Delta Force 2, Delta Force Land Warrior, and of course, probably the most famous game in the franchise, Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Fast forward 26 years later, and we have a new Delta Force game on the horizon. Delta Force Hawk Ops will be the first game in this franchise since 2009, and the first game developed for this franchise without the original developer, Nova Logic. This time around, it's Temi Studio Group, or maybe it's Timi. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this. This is a Chinese developer that up to this point is only known for doing mobile games. In fact, their only first person shooter was Call of Duty Mobile that released in 2019. Now, to be fair, that game does sit at a 4.7 out of five star rating on the App Store. I'll still go ahead and state the obvious though, a mobile FPS is not the same thing as a traditional FPS on PC and on console gaming. Now, something that five to 10 years ago would have been maybe the best thing anyone could hear, this being a free game. That's right, this will be free. Knowing that now brings up a lot of different questions uh, considering what we've dealt with in gaming over the last several years. Live service games have been anything but a for sure thing. And unfortunately now, when you hear the term free, you know that comes with some caveats. Now we don't know how they're going to implement the live service with this game. Obviously they're going to have to, they cannot sell this game for nothing and intend to make zero money at all. However, going ahead of that, there are going to be three game modes offered in this, Hazard Operations, Havoc Warfare, and a campaign mode that is going to be a remastered version of the Black Hawk Down campaign. Now this Havoc Warfare footage here, if it looks familiar to you, well, that's because this looks basically like Battlefield. This was obviously an intentional choice to do this. I don't think this was an accident. I mean, if it was, that would be a, just a lie because this is very clearly influenced by Battlefield. The only strange thing about that is the course of the original gaming series was nothing like Battlefield at all. Delta Force was always a more grounded, slightly more realistic, gritty, tactical experience. Battlefield has always been an arcade game. I can appreciate why you would want to lean more into the arcade style, being that it is 2024, that's going to be your market. For the most part, the tactical FPS market is a lot smaller than the arcade one is. Uh, I know this because I thoroughly enjoy tactical FPS games and there just aren't a ton of them. Maybe they're trying to say, hey, Battlefield, this is what you should have made 2042 like. I don't know, we haven't had a chance to play this yet. But what I do know is that this is an interesting choice. It looks good on the surface too. Visually speaking, the presentation is very nice. The gun sounds are good. But one glaring thing to me is the very clear hero aspects of this game that did not sit all that well with a lot of Battlefield fans during 2042's life cycle, which is still going now. Hazard Operations, the extraction game mode here, which is also going to bear resemblance to Battlefield's Hazard Zone, at least in title, which I don't know why you'd want to do that considering how spectacularly that mode failed for Battlefield. This is going to provide players a PvPVE experience where you will gather loot, gear, rewards, and then try to extract. Also, apparently there's crocodiles. One big difference though between this and Hazard Zone from Battlefield seems to be that this game is going to be leaning more into the traditional extraction style shooting experience with a more robust loadout and inventory setup. Now, some of this gameplay you're seeing here is an actual pre-alpha playtest that was done in China. Uh, again, those developers are from China, and all the players that played in this are Chinese. Speaking Chinese, all of the writing is also in Chinese, so unfortunately, I don't know what any of it says. So the only thing we're able to really take out of this is how it looks in it. Uh, just like the reveal trailer footage, uh, it looks pretty good. This playtest was obviously being done on PC, because we can see the mouse cursor moving around within the inventory system. We also get a little bit better look at uh, the leaning mechanic, uh, which gets used quite a bit by these players, which is great to see uh, leaning even in an arcade game. Leaning is such a fun little small thing in FPS games that sometimes gets omitted and it's unfortunate when it does, but I digress. As far as I know, this is the only true gameplay footage available so far for this hazard operations pre-alpha playtest, and what I mean by that is just it's a live game that was going on, it wasn't set up for cinematic purposes. 
Of course, the entire Black Hawk Down campaign is also being remastered and redone in this, and this is where I think a lot of the older fans are going to find a lot of their kicks, um, at least from a nostalgic purpose or standpoint. Also, for anybody who just isn't as big of a fan of the arcade style shooter, this campaign at least will give you an opportunity to enjoy a more tactical experience, we're assuming. There is no official release date yet for Delta Force Hawk Ops. However, it is slated to come out later in 2024. Again, listen, it's a free game. It's certainly gonna be worth giving a try considering you don't have to spend any money to play it. It just may be a little disappointing if you are a fan of this franchise from back in the days, or it may be a huge pleasant surprise. We'll just have to wait and see. Appreciate you guys stopping by today. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you drop a like and sub to the channel if you enjoyed this video and click that bell for more notifications. We'll see you on the next one.